And do you know, before they started the drug war in 1970, uh, the prison population was steady across America of 50,000. What did it cost to keep them in jail, in prison, for 50,000? Nothing. Back when, before they started the drug war, prisons paid for themselves. They actually operated at a profit because they grew their own food and they rented the guys out for work. We can do the same thing again. Prison, it was the prison industrial complex when they started locking up non-victim criminals that has driven the price up. At one point, it was only 20000 a year to keep a prisoner in prison. Now it's 95000 Now That's over 300 a day. It's cheaper to put the guy in a hotel than it is in prison. And that's ridiculous. See what I'm saying? If we were to pay him, you know what welfare gives people? 500 a month. That's like six grand a year. We could put them on welfare for six grand a year. We got to lock them up for 95000 a year. That's ridiculous. Let's pay them. See, for 10%, I can stop the, the crime. I can stop the abuse. These people, it's desperate acts that are making these people out there stealing your stuff. If we gave them an opportunity to earn the money, I believe most of them would take it and we could cut crime down. And that's how I want to fix it. I want to quit locking them up and start helping them community farms and we're gonna pay the people whether they're homeless or in jail and here's another thing is that when workers when you're in jail and you get to work not only do you get out of jail but it also improves your attitude of yourself and when you get out of jail and you actually have money in your pocket the odds of going back to jail greatly diminish because now you can afford to go get a car go get an apartment go get a job that you might like a sustainable one so yeah, we got to start paying people so that when they get out of jail, they're not desperate. It's desperate people that commit crimes. We got to take the desperation out of drug use.